This is Keep On Singing, The Ballad of Marian Anderson, written by Myra Cohn Livingston, illustrated by Samuel Bird, and I set it to a tune. Born in Philadelphia, her mother told her true, whatever you are doing, someone's watching you. Marian earned pennies, scrubbing people's stairs. She worked to free her mother from poverty and cares. Started in with singing when she was only three. Learned the notes and all the parts and how the words should be. Joined the Baptist choir, sang most every place. Learned soprano, alto, tenor, even learned the bass. Heard about a music school, thought she would apply. The girl kept helping others, always passed her by. Marion stood and waited till everyone had gone. We don't take colors, said the girl, and Marion went on. The church helped raise some money to carry on her dreams. Took some formal lessons once she turned 15. And when she sang Deep River, one teacher wondered why A tall, calm girl at twilight should make him want to cry Won a singing contest, sang in New York City Wonderful, some people said, but isn't it a pity We can't book her everywhere, such a lovely voice Too bad she's a Negro, she can't be our choice Marion sang in Europe, sang against her fears. A voice a great conductor said, heard once in a hundred years. Came back to America, her music studies done. She had sung for kings and queens, she had overcome. Now when she sang in concert halls, the crowds were turned away. Still hotels and restaurants wouldn't let her stay. Toured in 60 cities, often met Jim Crow. Always prayed all seeing God would show her where to go. Loved to sing the spirituals, music Marion wrote that showed simplicity and faith, humility and hope. Some of us remember Constitution Hall, where she was told she couldn't sing. Some of us recall. An Easter Sunday long ago when she stood up to fears In front of Lincoln's monument and eyes were filled with tears Marion remembered far as the eye could see A great wave of goodwill poured out almost engulfing me Some of us remember and we can hear her yet The first black woman singer invited to the mat I may have dreamed of such things, but I never thought I'd be a symbol for young singers who'd follow after me. Born in Philadelphia, her mother told her true, whatever you are doing, someone's watching you.